my name is B, and today I am doing a fairy loop unboxing. I told you this was coming this week, so I'm really excited for this box. I'm not sure if this video is gonna go up midweek or at the or normal like sun on Sunday because I'm I got my box yesterday on Saturday. Today is Sunday, so my vid my Disney tag video has just gone up today, and I can't wait to open this box. So I'm filming this video now. So this month's box is the Ladies That Slay box. We'll have items in this box themed on Hermione Granger and Katniss Everdeen and Blue Sergeant, whoever that is. I think that's someone from the Raven Boys. I think. Not sure. So within this box we're getting a release from October. It features dragons and the story follows a girl that must hunt dragons and learn the power of old stories. I'm kind of sure I know what this book is going to be but we'll find out when we get to the book. So obviously the book is going to have exclusive covering for Fairy Loot so really excited to see what the difference is. And of course we're going to get a signed book play and letter from the author. We are also getting a second book this month again like last time but this time it's going to be a advanced reading copy so an arc of a book that's going to be released next May I think. We are also getting five other items which one will be a book sleeve so really excited to find out what that's gonna look like. Let's get into the unboxing. I have already cut open the bottom, I have not looked inside yet so oh I see things, I see things. The first thing on the top of this box as always is the spoiler card. Um, I loved this spoiler um, it looks so cool. I'm not sure who this character reminds me of, but she definitely reminds me of someone. So we're gonna have to find out. She's kind of got Hermione's hair. I'm not sure who she looks like. So I'm not gonna look at the back of this until I need to know things about the stuff inside. <sighs> so when I picked up this box when it first arrived, I shook it just to see if I could hear anything. And this happened. So... I am so excited to find out what this is. So the first thing at the top of this box is tea, I think. Um, it's fruit tea with blackberries and currants. This was made by Bookish Teas. It's an exclusive brew, blues brew. Um, so yeah, this is inspired by Blue Sergeant from the Raven Cycle. So I was right in saying that it was based on the Raven Cycle. It's got fruit tea, black and red currants, black breeze, apple, hibiscus, and rose hip peels. And I've just read the card for this and it says there's edible glitter, so I'm gonna have to open it and find out. Oh. <laughs> that smells delicious. Look at how cool that looks. So this is what it looks like inside. Looks super cute and if you can see it does have slight sparkles i'm trying to show you without it all falling out it smells divine it smells i can't even decipher what this smells like it smells so great it smells like marshmallow with something but it definitely smells like marshmallow which is amazing i'm so excited to try this i love tea i love different kinds of tea so this is going to be really interesting to try I've obviously not read The Raven Cycle, I'm planning on reading it. So really excited to find out what this kind of means to the series. So next we have something that I am very familiar with. Um, we've got a little box and it says Flick the Wick. So I am guessing it's gonna be a candle. Um, I'm really hoping it's gonna be a candle. So if I can get this open without tearing the box, that would be great. Oh, yes. <laughs> I'm so excited. So we have an exclusive candle from Flick the Wick and it is based on Hermione the Brightest Witch and it smells like vanilla, lily, musk, raspberry and citrus and it is of course a soy candle. Oh wow that smells amazing. So it is a bright kind of pinky reddish colour. I love this. 
this looks amazing. I've actually got some candles burning on my shelves over there, so I'm really excited to add this to my candle collection. If you got this box, you can email a copy of your fairy loot receipt to flick the wick, and you can also purchase a full-size version of this stunning candle. So you cannot get this candle if you in a full size if you did not get this fairy loot, which I am really happy about. I love anything that's like exclusive to a box or a subscription, so really happy with this. So next we have a pin and it is this mortal coil and it looks like it's based on a book that's out in November and it says this mortal coil so I think it's a it's a really cute enamel pin. So it's based on the book that is coming out in November so really cool. I'm excited to actually read about that because that sounds quite interesting. This mortal coil. I don't think I've heard of it. Be interesting to research it. So next we have a sticker and it says so long as you fight the darkness you stand in the light and this is designed by Reveri and Ink and it is a quote from An Amber in the Ashes by Sabir Sabah Tahir and it's super cute I'm definitely gonna put this on um something because can't not put that on something. Oh yes Okay, so next we have something really exciting. We've got a iron on patch and it says fire is catching and if we burn, you burn with us. This is obviously based on catching fire, I think. And this is obviously a quote by Katniss Everdeen. This is an exclusive badge from Literary Emporium um, and it even has tiny instructions on a little library card on the back. So that's super cute. So yeah, that's the badge. You can see it. Oh, that's a bit disappointing. So I've also got a postcard um, based on the last Namsara, which is my guess for what this book is going to be. So this kind of gives me an idea that it might be. Um, but mine's came rumpled. That's kind of annoying. The work on it is really cool though. It's quite an artsy style design. I guess I can put that in a little frame and it won't look so bad, but yeah, it's really cute. We also get a badge that says The Last Namsara, so I'm pretty sure that's the book we're getting. And is that in focus? Next we come to the item that I am the most excited about, and that is something that we already knew we were going to get, um, and that is of course the book sleeve. So this is an exclusive book sleeve and it was designed by Anjuli Art and it features swords and daggers and all the lovely things that represent our ladies that slay and it even has a waterproof inside that can keep books free from dampness and wetness so I am loving this especially the colours pink and purple and blue is like my favourite colour scheme so I'm loving this cover it's so cute it's so adorable I put ready player one in there and I've got like the normal sized book of this one and it fits perfectly there's even room at the top to hold it so next we come to the second book within this box and it is the arc version of Fury Born by Claire Legrand. Um, it is the first book in the Imperium trilogy which is actually really exciting. This is a limited edition advanced reader copy. This is not the cover that will be on the cover of the actual book when it's released. Um, it's coming May 22nd, 2018. This was printed for Fairy Loot, so you cannot get this arc anywhere else apart from within this book. You'll probably be able to get the arc when they actually release arcs for reviews, but this one came exclusively and was printed exclusively for Fairy Loot. So that's really exciting. It's got magic and queens and fighting and wars and all of that awesome stuff. So I'm really, really, really excited to read this arc copy of this book. Um, it says, two queens will rise, one with the power to save the world, one with the power to destroy it. They carry your fate in their hands. That is really exciting. I'm, I'm really excited to read this book. I think it's definitely going to be one of my next books that I read because it sounds so enticing. And of course, last but not least, we come to the Fairy Loot book of the month. Fairy Loot always includes a hardback cover and a hardback new release and this one was an October release so it has been around for about a month but 
I am really excited for this book because it is, as expected, The Last Namsara by Kristen Sicarelli. If I'm saying that name right. Ooh, the back is really interesting. It says Destroyer, Deathbringer, Dragon Slayer. I am more weapon than girl. Oh, I love the cover. Look at the amazing detailed work on that. It's got like shiny, glittery inlay on the front. So excited to have this book. Sounds so exciting. So this book has dragons and slaying and destiny and destroying and all of that awesome stuff. And I'm really excited to read it next. This is definitely in my December TBR for sure because it looks so amazing. So alongside the book of the month every month, we have gotten a letter from the author. So this is from Christ Kristen Sicarelli, Sicarelli, Cicerelli? something like that. Um, but this looks really interesting because it's on black and it's written in gold. Ooh. We also get a bookmark which has the spoiler card cover on it and on the back it says Fairy Loot, November 2017, Lazy's Ladies That Slay. We also get a signed book plate that I can stick in the front of my book. We also get a reading buddy, num reading buddy number. I am Fairy Loot 121698. So if you have that number, comment below and we can buddy read this together. I love buddy reading books. And last but not least, we have the fairy scoop for the no Ladies That Slay in November 2017. It has an interview with the author and then it has, if you liked this book, read these kind of thing. Um, what to read next and then it has a little bit about the December box on the back which is oh so regal and I'm so excited about this because it's gonna have a full-size Disney Funko Pop in it so excitement is like up here. So that's everything. That is my fairy loot unboxing for the month of November. I really hope you liked this video. If you did, then hit that like button and subscribe while you're down there so you don't miss any more of my future videos. Um, I'm not sure when this video is going up, so I'm not sure what I'll have for you next week, so stay tuned. Bye!